Uh, lovely to see you again, Year 10. Let's see how good your memories are. And uh, let's go back to lesson one that we did last week. Hands up. Um, what is an imam? Yes, yeah, Shaman, sure, what is an imam? Uh, it's like the, the leader of a mosque that provides, if they have an ijaza, can provide help with people. Okay, Sheikh, is that, is that, do you want to elaborate on that? We can actually uh, expand this a little bit. An imam is a leader of a community, obviously. His base is a, is a mosque, but he doesn't necessarily have to be only in the mosque. He provides a consultation regarding faith matters, regarding sometimes family matters. And he basically leads the community in matters that relate to their faith and engage with people of other faiths as well. And he's got to be a qualified person. He's got to be a qualified person. Yes. Okay. Right, let's go on to uh, question two. Who can define the ijaza? Um, an ijaza is a qualification which an imam must get in order to um, teach and give wisdom on the faith. Good. And who is supposed to give that ijaza to the imam? Um, the higher people in the university. Okay, yes. So it has to come from a university, accredited university. Good. Uh, who remembers the layers of the Islamic faith? I've only got three hands up. I mean, you promised me everyone was going to remember this. Okay. What are they? Do you want to tell us what they are? Uh, the first one was a good Muslim. Good. Uh, the second one was believer. Good. The third one was uh, achieving excellence. Excellent. So it's basically a good Muslim should be also a good believer and that should lead him to achieving excellence. More difficult, what do these layers tell us? And um, It's what makes a good Muslim. A holistic understanding of a good Muslim shall include these three things. Shall include his relation with God, uh, driven by a true belief, and also his relation with the society. If any of this is not there, then there is a problem with his being good, isn't it? 